The hydraulic downforce display stand that we have here is showing off the Ag Leader hydraulic downforce in comparison to a pneumatic downforce system. The hydraulic downforce consists of an actuator on every individual row along with an accumulator on each individual row to help in case the row unit encounters an object in the field to, uh, where it would need to uh, essentially go up. The hydraulic downforce uh, reacts much quicker than an than a air system in the fact that uh, all we have to do is increase pressure to the actuator. In, on this particular demo, we can simulate the row units encountering a harder soil where the row units want to come up out of, the, out of the ground. And as the row units come up, we can see how quickly the systems respond. In less than a second, the hydraulic system reaches its max capacity capacity of downforce, whereas the air system takes anywhere from about 15 seconds to react all the way to about 50 seconds. After a period of time on the simulator, it shows an error on the display, which is an, which is an alarm to the actual operator to say, there's something wrong with the planter or the ground is too hard. Uh, you need to check it out. As the row unit gets back into softer soil or gets pushed back down on our display stand here, we can see the scales show how quickly the weight is dumped when the weight is not needed. The air system again takes anywhere from about 30 seconds to over a minute to dump the weight to get back toward a, a, a lower uh, compaction, whereas the hydraulic system can dump its weight in about a, one to three seconds. This is basically very useful as you're going across the field. We also have some maps at our booth where we can show how the system worked this last year. Uh, as we're going into the 2014 season, it'll be our second full year of having these systems in the field. Uh, with our maps that we have out from this past year and the field experience we have, uh, it's been eye-opening to a lot of customers to see the variability in their fields, where in the past they relied on a traditional method of either springs or a standard pressure on their airbags. The, the thing that's really caught most people's eye is because the air systems are quite popular, um, and a lot of the uh, OEMs that are, are offering the air system on the plant are new. And when they come up and see this comparison, uh, the thing that really is intriguing their minds is why do they want to go with an air system when they can see already that uh, there's a product that can react much quicker and possibly provide them a lot better return on their money.